वेलकम टू ई लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ कड़ी सर्वे विश्वविद्यालय दिस इज अ स्मॉल प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन दिस चैप्टर डिमांड एंड सप्लाई एंड द डिटर्मिनेंट्स ऑफ डिमांड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज गोइंग टू डिलीवर बाय डॉक्टर ठाकुर श्वेता सदानंद सिंह आई एम अ फैकल्टी ऑफ एम पी पटेल कॉमर्स कॉलेज एंड द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज इज डिटर्मिनेंट्स ऑफ डिमांड the very first thing which comes under our mind that is what are the determinants right so the determinants are the factors that influence demand and also called as demand shifter that means here we got another name for the de determinants of demand that is the demand shifter that means the determinants helps the demand to shift okay so generally the demand for the commodity is not fixed generally the demand for the commodity is not fixed because of many factors so what are those factors let us discuss in detail okay one by one so here we can see in the next slide what are the various determinants the very first determinant is price of related commodities when a change in price of the other commodity leaves the amount demanded of the commodity under consideration unchanged we say that the two commodities are unrelated what we say these two commodities are unrelated otherwise these are related fine so that if we say the related commodities then related commodities are of two types one is substitutes and, and another is complements when the price of one commodity and the quantity demanded of the other commodity move in the same direction okay that is both increase together and both decrease together fine so next is the income of individual the amount demanded of a commodity also depends upon the income of an individual when an increase in income okay when there is increase in income then the increased amount of most of the commodities in his consumption bundle that means what if my income is going to rise definitely i will consume more and more goods if i have 500 in my pocket i will purchase the goods of 500 rupees only if i have 1000 rupees in my pocket i will consume more bundle i will purchase 1000 rupees goods so that indicates what whenever the if there is an increase in income definitely the consumption bundle is going to increase fine though the extent of the increase may differ between commodities clear now the third point let's move further taste and preferences it is quite well that the change in taste and preferences of commodities or sorry taste and preference of the consumers in favor of a commodity results in smaller good or demand for the commodity we can say right so modern business firms what they do which sells product with different brand names rely a great deal on influencing taste and preferences on households in favor of their products with the help of advertisements in order to bring about increase in demand for their products fine so let's move further that is the fourth point that is the taste of the consumers the amount demanded also depend on the consumer's taste taste includes related to the fashion habit customs etc let's take an example if i like dairy milk more i will purchase dairy milk right if you don't like dairy milk you don't purchase it if you like more of five star you will purchase more of five star or you will demand more of uh, five star instead of uh, dairy milk right so it depends upon the taste of a person what they select or they what are their choice what are their preferences and uh, what are their habits according to that they Uh, select the goods for themselves fine so the amount depends upon the consumer taste which amount amount demanded 
के अमाउंट डिमांडेड ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन कंज्यूमर टेस्ट इफ द टेस्ट फॉर द कमोडिटी गोज अप सी इफ द टेस्ट फॉर अ कमोडिटी गोज अप इट्स अमाउंट डिमांडेड इज मोर इवन एट द सेम प्राइज एंड वाइस अवर्स ओके सो इफ द प्राइज रिमेन सेम और इट इंक्रीजेज और इट डिक्रीजेज इफ यू लाइक द कमोडिटी इफ यू वॉन्ट इट डेस्परेटली यू आर गोइंग टू परचेज इट एट एनी कॉस्ट फाइन नेक्स्ट मूव विद द फिफ्थ पॉइंट दैट इज द वेल्थ द अमाउंट डिमांडेड फॉर अ कमोडिटी इज ऑल्सो अफेक्टेड बाई द अमाउंट ऑफ वेल्थ एज वेल एज इट्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन द वेल्थियर आर द पीपल हायर इज द डिमांड फॉर नॉर्मल कमोडिटीज If the wealthy is more equally distributed, the demand for necessities and comforts is more. On the other hand, if uh, some people are rich while the majority is poor, the demand for luxuries is generally less. Understood? So, we move further towards the expectations regarding the future. Now, if consumer expect change in price of a commodity in future. right now what the consumer is doing consumer is deciding that in future the price may go high or may go down so according to that the consumer will take the decision at present whether to purchase the commodity right now or not okay uh, they will change the demand at present even when the present price remains the same similarly if consumer expect their incomes to rise in the near future they may increase the demand for a commodity just now clear with this now the seventh derivative is sorry the seventh uh, determinant of demand is the climate and weather so the how the climate and weather are responsible for the shift in the demand let's see this the climate of an area and the weather prevailing there has a decisive effect on consumers demand in cold areas woolen clothes is demanded during hot summer days ice is very much in demand on a rainy day ice cream is not so much demanded right so what is this this is nothing but the climate and weather which are responsible for the demand shift okay finally we are going to proceed with the state of business the level of demand for different commodities also depends upon the business conditions in the country if the country is passing through the boom condition boom means uh, we are making lot of lot of lot of profit okay uh, that is the boom condition of a businessman fine that clearly indicates my demand for the commodity is more in the market many people are coming and purchasing the commodity from me so i am making lot of profit so that is a boom condition so there will be a marked increase in demand okay the demand is going to increase that is clear cut indicate so on the other hand if we see the level of demand goes down during depression when the period of depression comes automatically the slowly the demand will go down down and down so these are the reason why the demand curve changes or why there is a shift in the demand curve so these are the determinants which are responsible for the shift in demand curve which brings the change in the demand so these are the uh, this is the reference uh, from where i gathered all the detailed information and you can also go through with this and thank you for today's session we will meet in the next lecture okay Thank you